Hello, I'm Oscar from Emotion Systems, and today we're going to be configuring our own loudness profile. So the first thing I need to do is navigate over to the settings button, and we're going to create our new workflow. So I'm going to call this one loudness workflow. After that, we need to configure our input settings. So I'll quickly set this up for an eight channel MXF. After clicking next, we're taken to a separate screen where we can add our modules. I'll add the loudness module here. A new window appears which allows us to set up what channels we want to loudness correct. I'm able to select the channels we wish to loudness correct here as well as the audio structure of the file, i.e. mono, stereo 5.1. We also have this configure button where we're able to create our own loudness profile. So I'm going to go ahead and configure my own. We start by entering a new name for our profile. I'm going to call my profile Test Loudness Profile. Then we choose a loudness standard that we wish to work with. I shall choose ATSC A85. The form below is populated with the standard values that apply to that loudness setting. So here we have the program loudness of minus 24. Dialogue intelligence is frequently used for ATSC A85 measurements. And at the bottom, True Peak is enabled. Various other measurements may be turned on, should you wish, based upon the loudness standard you're working with. For example, if you select EBU R128, then you can enable the short term and momentary loudness measurements. In any loudness measurement, you can also enable the loudness range measurements as well as legacy PPM and VU correction. This tab covers the measurements. So we're going to go to the corrections tab and this is where we're going to define what we're going to correct. The first settings we can see are the duration settings. The duration of the window can be left blank, in which case a measurement and correction continues from the start point to the end of the media. Alternatively, you can enter a duration for the window. Durations may be entered in normal integer seconds or may be entered in a timecode format, should you wish. Secondly, and very importantly, our automatic tone detection is enabled. The automatic tone detection module is looking for an area of tone like your standard A440 Hz tone, followed by a silence at the start of a file. It will automatically exclude the tone from the measurement so that you don't get an incorrect result, and it will exclude the tone from the correction so the lineup tone remains at the same level. Underneath, we select what we're going to correct. For a typical measurement, we would correct the program loudness and the true P. However, if you have enabled more settings, you could turn on correction here, so you correct things such as the momentary loudness, or you can leave off corrections so you're just measuring these values. So once I'm happy with my profile, I can then save my profile. Automatically, test loudness profile will be selected. In this window, I can choose from multiple loudness profiles that have already been pre-configured. Once I'm happy I've selected the correct profile, I can then choose which channels I want to loudness correct with this profile, for instance the stereo or the 5.1. Well I hope this has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.